Hi, this is another segment of, uh, I'm Tony, and we're doing another segment today on how to be a kitchen alchemist so you can treat yourselves and fix your bodies and do all these things. So we're being filmed live in living color, so if there's any screw-ups, that's what it is. You see, what you see is what you get. It's WYSIWYG. Okay, we're going to make a chelator. Some of you don't know what a chelator is. A chelator is something that goes into your body and will pull out toxins or metals or both or chemicals. And you can make your own chelator relatively easy. It doesn't take much. You can use anything that has sulfur or has uh, ascorbic acid is itself is one of the simplest chelators going. What we're going to use today is we're going to use a glass, EDTA, MSM, vitamin C, baking soda. Okay. What we're going to add water. Distilled water, reverse osmosis water, or a really, really, really clean water, double distilled, whatever. What we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to put this together so that if you have any kind of exposure to arsenic, lead, mercury, aluminum, or other metals that you may have been exposed to as a result of working in the automotive industry or a manufacturing industry or something to that nature, or because you've got chemtrail exposure and you're getting a lot of barium and aluminum, this can help pull some of that out. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take EDTA, okay, it's a white powder. You can order this by bulk at purebulk.com. <clears throat> Again, I don't endorse anybody, but if you've got something that works, I will let you know what I, what I, in my humble opinion, will, works and the products that I think are good. Anyway, you're going to take about a gram, a thousand milligrams. This is a guesstimate here, okay, just so you know. You don't have to be super precise. A little bit here, a little bit less, a little bit more isn't going to kill you. All right. Now, unless you're making a bomb, then 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 you know maybe's and oops, you know that can hurt you. But this isn't going to hurt you. All right. MSM powder. You're going to use approximately two grams. If you go more than two grams, do not sweat it. Okay. Don't sweat the small stuff. Okay. The idea is MSM is a water soluble sulfur. You can take the whole thing, put it in there and drink it, and the worst thing that happened to you is you'll be on the throne thinking deep, 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 deep thoughts. So don't sweat it, okay? Your body will utilize what it needs and dumps the rest. We're using this because it is a sulfur-based, okay? And so approximately, that's more like three grams. Okay, two grams, one, two, okay? If I'm off a little bit, it's no big deal. And again, we're showing you everything living color so that you know that if you make a mistake or you think you put too much in there, don't throw it away, don't waste it, it's not going to hurt you. Now, vitamin C, another two grams. If you go up higher, you can take the vitamin C at a higher dose, by all means. Okay, so, I'm going to put that much, okay? I'm using a little wee spoon. Now, if you want to be technical, weigh it out, measure it, do whatever, okay? It's not necessary. Now, and add the magical ingredient, the stimulation of stimulation, water, clean water. Okay, two ounces, three ounces. All right, stir it up a little bit before you put the baking soda in. Now, okay, baking soda, you're going to use about a quarter teaspoon, half a teaspoon, not much. Whatever it takes to stimulate the agitation. We want this to bubble and to end boil and trouble and everything else. Because you want this to carry this into the system as quickly as possible. Okay? It's going to go down there. It's going to oxygenate the system. It's going to work with the vitamin C. Basically, you're making uh, um, uh, uh, potassium ascorbate. Or sorry, not potassium ascorbate. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sodium ascorbate. Sodium ascorbate is a very potent uh, antioxidant that cleans the cells and kills cancer. Okay, just so you know. Now I'm just going to guesstimate this. Just going to put it in. Okay, see a bubble? I'm going to drink this. Soon the red dust on my chest will appear. <laughs> All right, that's how harmless that is. Okay, if some of you are feeling a lot of pain, and you do this, you may find a lot of relief very quickly. 
The baking soda in the MSM can have a very stimulating effect in regard to getting it in the system and reducing inflammation and shutting down the pain threshold in your body. The vitamin C and the MSM will work together in protecting the liver, protecting the lungs, okay, increasing the effect for respiratory. For those of you who have allergies, this can help tremendously. Now you may burp. I feel one coming on, so if I do burp, it's not I'm being rude, it's just a gas coming out. This is already in my system. I can already feel it going through me. Now, <clears throat> some of you may have to do this for a couple days, but this is a simple chelator. Now, if you did this every night before going to bed, you may find the next day when you get up, you're hitting the washroom. Um, you may find that if you have a lot of yeast, you may find the yeast will start all of a sudden going. Some of you may start seeing metals coming out into the into your uh, into the washroom. So keep that in mind. You, some of you may find all of a sudden aches and pains in your body are starting to diminish. Uh, it might feel more, a little bit more flexibility because of the vitamin C in it. Okay, this can boost the immune system. This can kill cancer cells. All right, you can put it together for pennies. You can do this every night before going to bed, if you like. If you want to modify this, even let's say you want to add some DMSO to this. All right. 5% uh, solution. Do not go beyond 5%. Use about a dropper full or about a half a teaspoon. Put it in there with it. MSM <clears throat> does convert to um, DMSO in the body. Okay, so it's going to help, again, carry the vitamin C, the sodium into the cells and clean up the cells as well. All right. So I wanted to point this out to you for some of you who are having skin issues. Some of you are having intestinal issues, some of you are having uh, um, cellular issues, congestions you know, in the arterial lining, having problems breathing, having problems going to the washroom, having intestinal problems. MSM is one of those things that can repair the intestinal tract, can repair diverticulosis, Crohn's, IBS, leaky gut. Okay? If you are going to be using it for that purpose, all bread has to stop. Bread Bread facsimiles like crackers and cookies and cakes and tortillas has to stop. We oatmeal for a short period of time has to stop. This is required so that your body's bowels can now release some of the alcohol you're producing and some of the damage that the, that the, that the uh, accumulated starch has produced. A lot of breads, I would say today 99.9% .9 of the breads have some genetically modified trait that's causing the disruption in the bowels. And when it's fermenting down below, it's producing alcohol, it's causing the colon to expand. What's happening at that point is the alcohol in there is wearing, breaking down the, the barrier, it's a solvent. Proteins and other waste matter is going back into the bloodstream, repoisoning your body. The breads have to stop. The bananas have to stop. The grapes have to stop. Too much sugar produces too much alcohol. Rice. If anybody's interested, you can email me. I will send you a whole protocol or go to my webpage. There's a protocol in the April 26th script of the show on my link. Follow that. Okay, This can help tremendously in healing this. Okay, so we just did a, a video on chelation, and I had a question for Tony off camera, but I wanted to ask it on camera just in case the public had the same type of question. Now, Tony, I, had a, I have a friend who has uh, basically blockages in their veins, arteries, from the waist down, and that's causing them to um, just not be able to walk normally anymore they're using a cane to walk and so when you're when you're showing me this um, chelation uh, drink that we're making here uh, I think that that might work for her but if it starts moving things in her arteries and stuff like that uh, will that do anything else um, that could be dangerous for example like block if things start moving around in her artery in her body will that can that potentially block something elsewhere okay in when we deal with EDTA, EDTA doesn't just move things, it breaks it down. And there will be a shifting of things. That's why vitamin C is in there, because it's also an antioxidant, it's a free radical scavenger. So when you're putting these things together, what's happening is one thing is breaking one thing down to a point where your body can now either absorb it or remove it. And things are going to move anyway. Now there is a slight possibility that something like that could happen. but. In general, if you're eliminating a lot of the things in the diet anyway, and you're adding these things to your system to, to make the changes, the problems will be at very nominal, okay, almost non-existent. Um, 
I've had blood clots in my legs from injuries or whatever. I've had blood vessels break and I've used this formula. Now by the next day, within a 24 hour time frame, it's completely dissolved the blood clot, the bruising was gone, and the arteries were starting to repair. So, there is always a slight possibility that something can go wrong. Nobody, nobody, medically, in the alternative field, nobody can guarantee you that everything is going to be 100%. Nobody. Okay? Nobody can tell you that something's going to work right away. Even the pharmaceutical drugs, when they give them to you, it takes six weeks for them to addict you to them before you'll see any results. So I would say if you were going to have this issue and you're changing the diet, I would probably tell you in that situation, if you're going to use this, start using more enzymes as well. Okay, because digestive enzymes help boost the systemic enzymes, which again clean up any excess debris and again will further minimize any problems that may occur. If you've got blockages from this point on, you've got some serious issues going on and you may want to do the uh, intravenous chelation. Okay, and someone who does the intravenous chelation and then which they can moderate it even more. Because if you're that blocked up, then you've got, some more, you've got more serious problems going on than normal. So again, enzymes in this would help tremendously, but if it's that severe, then again, you may want to go through more of a more dramatic chelation, and again, that would be up to you.